case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit heard an intriguing lawsuit, Singh v. Ashcroft in 2004, which sought to explore the specific boundaries of federal and state laws in the realm of domestic violence. The case centered on Dalip Singh, an Indian citizen residing in the U.S. who was indicted for a crime of domestic violence following a harassment conviction in Oregon. This conviction put Singh at the potential risk of removal from the U.S. under 8 U.S.C. Section 1227-A-2-E-R, prompting him to argue whether the universal definition of Oregon's harassment law would fit the mold of a crime of violence as per the federal lexicon. Initially, Singh's attempts proved unfruitful as the Board of Immigration Appeals ratified the decision of the immigration judge to endorse the removal order. Unwilling to accept his fate, Singh pushed his case further, leading to its review by the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. The court, in its investigation of the intricacies of Oregon's offense elements, found that they didn't necessarily equate to the aggressive physical force required for a crime to be classified as a crime of violence under federal law. The court, in a judgment penned by Judge Gould, determined that any crime intended to be classified as a crime of violence must fundamentally include the use of physical force. Drawing a line in the sand, the court concluded that Oregon's harassment law does not fit the federal definition of a crime of violence. This insight led the court to grant Singh's petition and effectively vacate the looming order of removal. Interestingly, this ruling refuted the previously held stance of the Attorney General, making it clear that generalized state and federal statutes shouldn't be interpreted with deference. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.